Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, today I'm gonna do a very short, quick video for something I discovered just the other day. And I found it quite amazing. I saw it, it stood right out to me and I was wondering how the heck did I not see this before? So this is our 2022 Micro Mini Flex. It's a 2100 bunkhouse. And what I'm gonna show you today uh, it's not going to astound people, but if you have one of these, uh, you may look at it and say, what the heck, how did I not see that? And it's not, I'm, I'm not saying that it's exclusive to this trailer, um, this manufacturer or anything. I'm just pointing it out. It's, it's poor workmanship. That's what it comes down to. It's probably a necessary evil, and in a way I'm glad they did what they did, but... Yeah, it's something to see. Uh, I'm going to improve upon this and make it a better situation than it actually is. But this is the way we tend to get it as consumers somehow. It's in the front pass-through area of the trailer. Come with me and take a peek at it. All right. And that's it right there. So there's actually two of these. There's one on this side and there's one on the other side. And these are just, in essence, covers for uh, wires exposed. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's flush against the wall on this side. The other side being pushed out from the wires behind it. It's probably two and a half, three inches sticking out from the wall but it's a protective cover so that items within your pass-through area, you know, your blocks or whatever, if they get flying around in here, they're not gonna be hitting the wires. So that much of it, I guess I appreciate. <laughs> the aesthetics of this and the practicality of it is pretty stupid when you really look at it. Uh, more so what's stupid is when you look behind it and you see what's behind uh, your little flimsy piece of, ah, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> um, but there's an entanglement of wires that uh, come through the wall here, here, and then they go out inside, the probably inside the front cap and down to right below here. There's those silly circuit breakers on the frame outside the trailer. Uh, I assume that's what that all does. So you can see the grouping of wires there. Um, yeah. So I'm going to uh, kind of box this out and then and make it a little better. Uh, still accessible, but nonetheless, just clean it up from that. Now, on the opposite side of the trailer... There is another one way over in the corner, uh, right behind the uh, solar charger that's mounted up against the wall, and it's tight to the wall, so it, it, it's really going to be hard to get in behind that one. And in the corner, you can see a couple wires, uh, and behind that, there's some holes in the wall there that they're trying to protect. But again... This is the, the quality of the stuff we, we are seeing and getting in the entanglement of wires behind there. Uh, anyway, if you're curious what's behind this little piece of uh, whatever it is, uh, that's it. So, uh, yeah. Um, just kind of came across those uh, those two panels in there. Figured I'd pass it along, see what maybe everybody else is doing with those panels, or frankly, even if you care. Uh, that's that. I wish everyone uh, uh, a great day and uh, terrific travels if you're traveling. <laughs> Take care.